Good evening, Clemson students. I'm Bear Irwin. And I'm Rachel Golden. We begin this week's news by covering the Winter Olympics. The 2022 Winter Olympics in Beijing are currently underway, and we have an update on the medal counts. As of midnight, New York time on February the 8th, the Russian Olympic Committee has won the most medals total at seven. Canada is currently in second with six, and Italy and the Netherlands are tied for third with five each. When judging by the type of medal, Sweden is currently in first with three gold medals. The Russian Olympic Committee is in second with two golds, three silvers, and two bronzes. The Netherlands is in third place with two gold medals, two silver medals, and one bronze medal. By this metric, the United States is currently tied for 14th place among participants with two silver medals total. That is all for our update on the current state of the Olympics in Beijing. Of course, the Olympics aren't the only performances for Clemson students to be excited for. The Brooks Center has several shows coming up in February and March. First, Cirque Mechanics is hosting their show, Birdhouse Factory, at 9.30 a.m. and 7.30 p.m. February the 8th. Next, a wind quintet from the Imani Winds program will be hosting two performances, one at 7.30 p.m. And on February the 10th, and another at 10 a.m. on February the 11th. We hope that you will be blown away by their performance. Last for the month of February will be the Clemson Players with their show, $10 Million Melody, starting at the end of this month. Performances will be at 7.30 p.m. from February the 28th to the March the 5th, with another performance at 3 p.m. on March the 6th. And we have great news for everyone just as fascinated with astronomy as I am. The planetarium is back and better than ever. The wondrous room of Kynard 112, home to Clemson's own planetarium, has been reopened. The planetarium, which opened in 1961, is offering free public shows now through May the 5th. Each show will begin at 6 p.m. and run for 45 minutes. 38 seats are available for each. The planetarium, which received recent updates of a newly advanced theater system of Digistar 4, which was installed in 2011, gives viewers a truly powerful show. This immersive experience of navigating the vast night sky is not all the show includes. After taking a trip through the planets and constellations, the show shifts to focus on a specific astronomical topic, ranging from dark matter to exoplanets to unveiling the universe, amongst others. The audience will gaze into the fascinating topics our scientists continue to explore and discover. You can find exact dates and topics as well as seat reservations by visiting the planetarium page through Clemson's Physics and Astronomy website. Although all shows are fully booked, be sure to stay up to date on any openings or added shows. Now to some non-Clemson related sports news from Shamitha. Here's some news for you NFL fans out there. In the past 87 years of being called the Washington Redskins and for two years the Washington football team, an announcement this past Wednesday was made establishing their new name. The Washington Commanders was publicized on the franchise's social media platforms such as Instagram and Twitter. They will officially coin the name in the 2022-23 season. The Commander's team president, Jason Wright, claims the Commander title, which represents the ties to our nation's military and capital. The Redskins may still resonate through its home states of Delaware, Maryland, and Washington, D.C., but the Washington Commander's name is meant to motivate and carry its lush legacy to another championship next season. On Monday night, the Clemson Student Senate meeting started off their 2022 term by proposing a new scholarship for those who are descendants of black laborers who built this university. This resolution was proposed by Senator Matthew Jordan after collaboration with the student body president and various other student organizations. The scholarship would require proof of lineage and student government is uncertain of what that will be at this time. This resolution will be revisited at the next student government meeting. Clemson University's fraternity, Pi Kappa Phi, was suspended last month for four years after an incident on February 4, 2021, involving hazing. The incident was said to have been related to acts of personal servitude by members, lineups, berating, morally degrading behavior. 
Changes, charges were brought into April by the Office of Community and Ethical Standards. The chapter will not be allowed to reinstate until fall of 2025. This incident follows another hazing incident by Kappa Alpha in fall of 2021. Pi Kappa Phi is the fourth fraternity under suspension currently in Clemson. And on the topic of investigation suspensions, expert Guitar Hero player Shmui was well known for being the best in the world. Over the years, he would complete songs effortlessly and unlock achievements that were extremely difficult to obtain. Shmui would also release videos of himself on Guitar Hero that people found a bit skeptical, but it was too dark and too laggy to tell otherwise. That is, until December of 2021, when Shmui uploaded a run of the song Nine Patterns of Eternal Pain that seemed spectacular at first glance because of its difficulty. However, advanced players noticed fickle finger motions that didn't match the notes during the run. After being confronted multiple times, he eventually fessed up to his actions to that run, as well as around 100 previous runs. He had cheated, implementing splicing footage methods that would include editing a slow-paced game into a rapid one. In January, he released an apology to the public and deleted all of his dishonest videos. Still leaving his fans in disbelief, Shmui paid back all the bounties he received over the years and wiped himself from social media entirely. However, he will forever be labeled as the Guitar Hero Cheater. And talking about cheaters in some sort of way, to some it's a special day and to others it's just dreaded. Valentine's Day is right around the corner and we've asked some of our Tiger Vision staff what their big plans were for this special day. This Valentine's Day is just another Monday for me. This Valentine's Day, I'm still not sure, but I do have a date. So for this Valentine's Day, um, it's gonna be like a normal Monday to me, but I know for sure that I will be going out with my girlfriends. We'll be going out to like Chili's or something to have a blast and eat some dinner and have fun. So for this Valentine's Day, I'll be going out with my boyfriend to the zoo. So that'll be really nice and hopefully we can have a nice lunch somewhere. This Valentine's Day, I'll be doing the same thing I do every day. Study till midnight. Well, we would like to thank you for joining us this week, and we hope to see you soon. From Clemson, this is Tiger Vision's Clemson News Now.